just get the colors mixed up. So it's going to be Cure with a double Rax. I feel like we see this all the time, and it's not working as much as it is working. But he's going to put it here. All right, so Maru got the scout off in the main base. He knows this is coming. That's why he pulled all these SCVs, trying to hamper this first Reaper from coming up into the main. Able to get a good bit of damage down. That will slow the push just a little bit as Kira will want to wait for that Reaper to regen at least the majority of its hit points before coming back in. And actually, hold that thought as he just pounces on this straight away. And that one Reaper almost did get taken out. Yeah, again, it's all about keeping every Reaper alive so that that damage can start to stack up. The factory back at home indicating this is not going to be any kind of rush that we've already seen. A little bit worried here. I mean, he's being pretty cavalier. There is a way you can kind of, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. there's a way you can kind of preempt what they're going to do. You know, that jump is an instantaneous that does take, you know, a little bit under a second to kind of get up and then land and then you can move it back out and in that time you can be receiving damage i feel like here was trying to find one marine kill or one reaper kill before the hellion got out but just yeah. wasn't actually able to get it and that's on maru just having really good control though Dude, that build is somebody who's really good and see how they yeah. stop it all right now he actually got in here with a good angling a little bit of a misclick yeah, these are some massive grenades. See, that's a lot of AoE damage on these SCVs. Look at how low HP they are. Seven SCVs already going down. Will it be eight? Just barely not. Oh, he actually does get one. So that's a very good trade there for Kira. I've got to wow. say, that's better than I was expecting. And also keep in mind that he lost one of those Reapers straight from the get-go. It's just yeah. those grenades were so clutch. That they was... got so much AoE damage in that it was like every single SCV was in the red. Crazy moment back there. Uh, ultimately was a success. Um, and, and now, I mean, this is a substantial worker lead here. One more Reaper, I think, has snuck its way into the main base as those SCVs are actually frantically trying. They're huddling to repair each other. They don't want to fall to yet another Reaper. And it's kind of a feels bad man there for Maru is you do not want to spend all of these resources repairing your SCVs instead of mining. Um, so Stim is coming along now for Cure. And, um, I mean, Maru, you know, in, in pretty good shape. It was kind of an explosive start, but things have slowed down a little bit um, in what can occasionally be a little bit of a dry early to mid game. I think there is potential for this to get a good bit of damage done, and man, just barely skirting around. Yeah, man, hug those corners. If the you're turret checking. also only just now starting, oh, so Kira's going to stim and try and stop this, but we're going to have turrets drop immediately here. He can get already. The Dude, oh, he's he gonna is going to get the upgrades. Look at that. Can he get the other one? I would be surprised with the siege tanks here, but I think he just take the win right there. I mean, he yeah. lost like what three Marines, some Raven energy. It was like three or four turrets at most. Yep. Another command center coming down here for Cure as he's starting to power up a little bit back at home. These tanks will siege. Maru does have a scan on that, and uh oh, it's a little bit of a bad split off there. Medrax going to have to scurry away into the corner. Most of these Marines will be able to get away. And you know, with a lot of back and forth, it's still a very even game, all things considered. Maru a little bit ahead in workers. Kira a little bit ahead in army. I think the main story for me right now is the upgrade advantage here for Maru might set up for a killer timing once 2-2 is done. You know, Kira, if he didn't have that didn't, didn't, if it, sorry, if he did have the armor upgrade is the word I'm trying to find. Um, I think he could do a lot. Maru is now on five bases to Cure's three. So, like... Oh, that's right. Positionally, Cure, Cure might be able to do a lot here because this is a pretty wide spread, but, like, uh, this is looking really bad All right, well, long term here. This CC should get canceled. Immediately does. So now, all, you know, uh, basically... Uh, well, hold on, Cure's actually maxed out. Maybe you can make this work, I'm not sure. Yeah, Maru dipping a little bit in supply right here as Cure's going to try and find an opening, but Maru a little bit too wise for that. Does retreat back to the third base and is able to defend it. And now Cure with the rest of his army trying to pivot towards that top fourth base here for Maru. And down here, it's a little bit concerning for Cure. He only has a handful of Marines there to support these siege tanks. And keep in mind that Maru has two very high energy Ravens, so disables are in the cards here, and that's probably why Kira is starting to pull away from this position, is there just isn't enough infantry on the ground. 
to actually support those siege tanks. And now we see Cure expanding to a fifth base, continuing to move around the map. Well, I think that Morrow is just going to slip right out with this small group. You know, four is usually the number in medevacs when you start to get serious about the drops. There's a lot on the map here um, for Cure that's kind of out. Yeah, and Cure's bringing everything back to deal with this small drop. I think he just doesn't really have a path forward for attacks just yet. Right, so he's just going to come back home, deal with this, does lose 10 SCVs, but kills, what, three, soon to be four medevacs, a lot of Marines in total. He's it's a nice military win for him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's still killing a lot of SCVs. There's been 14 SCVs killed so far. That's actually quite a bit. It's actually so funny. Maru focuses down the uh, the reactor on the starport, and Curtis immediately lifts it and trades places with the reaction barracks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just instantaneously. Those reactors, I mean, they take a long time to make. It's actually a really good building to target when yeah. you get in there. Um, so in total, 17 workers did go down for Cure, but he's still close to max. So his army is actually massive. 132 army supply to the 101 for Maru. But Maru, very entrenched here by the Triangle 3rd and his 6 o'clock base. It will be a hard position here for Cure to breach, especially with the disables that Maru has in the bag. But let's see, Tasteless. Okay, he's actually eating so much damage from the siege tanks. Maro shying away from the position itself. Uh, not not bad for Cure. Maybe a necessary trade out there. Yeah, but he, he didn't get the base and that army supply. He still retains an advantage, but it's not as it's not. It doesn't feel as insurmountable as it did a moment ago, where Cure's army was just really absolutely pumping there and. And whenever you see this kind of setup from Kira, you know he's going to also be able to take another base as soon as he has uh, the moment to you know, give his attention to that. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, I, I feel like this is kind of Maru's comfort zone. If it was a lesser Terran player, then certainly I would feel much more comfortable with Kira just consuming the map, taking map control like this, and expanding all across you know, the top side and the bottom side. But Maru, his defense has just been so impeccable. And keep in mind, he was a lot faster with his uh, Stargate transition. So here you see him just continuously try to breach positions like this. Disables come through on these forward siege tanks. That's going to allow Mar Maru to move all the way up. Uh, these siege tanks are dead in the water. And I, oh, I feel man. like Maru is just kind of building this ultimate army. And I, I think this might be basically all of his Marines here coming in for a counterattack. I think you're probably right. He's going to go right onto these SCVs and then target the command center. Can he get you get plus three armor again? Yeah. Why oh, not? yeah, you get plus three armor one more. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That gets denied. And now Maru is ready to move out. Yeah, so the supply is still favoring Cure, but the economy here for Maru, it is solid. And unless there's some missteps, I mean, even with all these Marines stemming forward, he's going to be able to shave off a couple of these siege tanks. But not too many going down, and the siege tank count still very healthy here for Maru. Keep in mind that he has had his starports up, these extra starports, much earlier than Cure, so the Raven count is higher. Oh, we have battle cruisers actually coming up for Maru. This wow. is so cool. That's Ooh. very interesting. Really going into the supreme Sky Terran here. This is so funny. Uh, uh, this game and the last game have started to kind of go into these weird directions. They, they look like old StarCraft One TVTs. Not even really modern StarCraft 1 TVTs, by the way. Like we had a lot, you know, a split map with tanks and kind of a hard uh, no man's land drawn across the map. And then Battlecruiser tech, which is what you oftentimes get at the very, very end of tech. Good. Uh, yeah. And Battlecruisers, they attack so fast. Yeah, they really Coupled with do. turrets, coupled with the Vikings that Maru also has on the field. I'm very concerned for Kira's position here in terms of the way the Sky Armies are shaping out. I don't know if he realizes quite how dire the position is starting to turn into because, I mean, this is just an overwhelming Sky Force here for Maru. And By the way, he's setting his own SCVs in here to, to, to basically let them get killed off so he can free up his supply. Yeah, so 13 SCVs will get traded out as those Oral Commands compete and complete, excuse me, and, um, now we have Maru just moving across the map with these battle cruisers, and they walk the long way around. So once danger enters, they will just be able to teleport away. And this hurts here for Kira. He's only at 54 workers. 
Oh my goodness, Yamato on the Planetary Fortress, barely not able to take it out. Oh, I think there might be enough DPS. Yeah, I think he can actually get it if he just focuses it down. He does, oh goodbye. Oh my goodness, Maru just so good. You know, Teleporting it's... back, almost full HP, barely even needs to repair those things. And now Kira, I mean, he has such a high tank count, but yeah, the he's... tanks are obsolete. He has got this crazy composition. He could probably roam and find another base and take it out as well. I think Kira's going to have to try to take a fight. Is he going to have enough to actually do that, though? I don't know, man. Because Maro basically has something set up where he can systematically move out, kill a base, get back, and, and pretty much do it unscathed. Kira's a handful more Vikings, but the Raven count and the Battlecruiser count obviously supporting Maru here makes me think that Zerglings. Zerglings, man. He's just going to send this small group of Marines and just He's even got a flying kamikaze queen. it in there. and He's got a little flying queen. Queen to transfuse these Zerglings too. So funny. All right, he's gonna just go for this tank now. This also has to be so annoying for Kira because yes, it is only three Marines in a medevac, but you still actually have to deal with it. You have to send stuff back, <laughs> and, and it can't be just like your own three Marines in a medevac. It has to be like enough that like you can basically just wipe it out. Yeah, like what are you gonna do? Like patrol Vikings back at home to deny yeah, the yeah. three the three Marines in a medevac? It's such an awkward situation, and. It's times like this, I wish we could see the army supply split between land army and air army, because yeah. I feel like, I mean, for Maru, just the air superiority, it is unbelievable here. And even this turret doing work, I'm surprised the tanks are taking so long to take it out. Maru just on another level right now, it feels like, in here these late games. All right, armor shreds are going to come down, and they go down first, uh, connecting on top of Cure's army. So now. He could just come in here and destroy all these tanks. I mean, this is insane. Dude, if I was Mario, I would just I would just teleport my battle cruisers on top of those Vikings, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, he might still do that. Yeah, he might. I these mean, Vikings, they have to oh, land. Here we go. There it is. Coming in are the battle cruisers. The Vikings on land trying to run away through the little little waddle, but they cannot get away. And now you have Mottos also coming oh, in. Oh my and God, Maru. GG! What an ending. Look, we've definitely had some some proxies. We've definitely um, like we're having in this game. We've definitely had some. Uh, pretty epic mid games, but what's been fascinating to me is that Maru has had more success with aggression and less success in mid game into kind of a normal late game. Uh, Maru really is showing some of the most insane late game in any matchup I've ever seen. Yeah, Maru's just playing out of his mind right now, giving us a taste of everything. And even the mind games here in game number six on match point, throwing down the SCV at the timing. He would be building a low ground command center, trying to feign that he's not going for this two racks proxy again. And this is the same build that we saw Byun do earlier in his best of five in the semifinals against Cure of all people. It's what we're seeing Maru do now. This proxy barracks, the proxy factory, two Reapers now coming up the ramp. Cure a little bit unprepared for this, takes a lot of damage there on that Marine, not as many SCBs pulled, and okay. This time, the SCP comes back, is going to be able to delay the factory. That's very important. This factory, not only, you know, is every factory that comes out of that is delayed, but the starport itself is delayed. And if I'm not mistaken... Dude, I, I think he's completely pulling out of the build. Yeah, Maru is just... I mean, we were talking about mind games. This is so cool. So Cure's overreacting wow. and making a bunker. There is and, no command center. And, exactly. And... and um, you're going to see this uh, Hellion come down towards the natural, and, and Kira's going to realize he's in a very different game than what he was preparing for, as he sees that already Maro is going to drink up the resources from the second base. And I, I think Kira, in a moment of panic, is basically leaving his base saying, oh, God, can I attack you at least? I'm wondering whether Maru is going to be able to break out of this very easily, because oh. with the two Vikings here, it's tough. Well, he's going to commit. I guess he's just barely not in range. And so Maro has to be very uh, quick to move that tank. The tank is basically the thing that's keeping everything together. He's going to pull out just in time before the first liberator shot can hit. That's going to allow Kira to move up an inch closer. And now he's in shelling distance of the command center. And Maro once again sending the Raven around. He might try to get a wrap around behind this, getting a couple more SUV kills back in the actual expansion there for Kira. It looks like he oh. might be gunning to drop. Wait. Or he's going to come from the side. Oh, he's okay. going to flank it. Yeah, I was wondering whether he was going to drop on the tanks or if he was going to come from the side. It looks like it will be the side play as Maru now getting in position. Raven with uh, a handy he's number be of in energy. Range. What am I watching? Mm. I don't know that he can. I think that actually Kier might just be able to take this. It's 
possible. SCVs now coming in, trying to make their way into the main oh, base. Nine, sorry, 11 kills. 11 kills there. Yeah, He's gonna Maru's go for the counter. just going to have to go for the counter attack right I, I now. Don't, I don't think this, I think Kier might have just taken this. But hold on. He could, uh, no, he could disable the tanks. Hold on a second. I, I'm jumping the gun myself here. And He's going to scan. There's another tank in the main base. A lot of reinforcements here. Okay, Stim is done. Stim's going to come in. Orbital gets lifted now. Tank gets immediately focus fire down. And that siege tank there in the main base, it repositions into a more defensive position. Oh, hold on a second. I think here has enough Marines to just kind of uh, wipe this out. It's actually even in workers. So that was 17 SUVs killed. 23 to 22. Wow. Very, very tense game here. Yeah, I, I think I still have to give the advantage to Cure right now. I mean, he's just continuously getting closer and closer to breaching this position, and the well, Viking count just continues to grow. And also, look at the positioning here of the orbital commands. The siege tanks, they're going to pop out on the left side. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing that Cure has going from yeah, he actually has a push that has momentum. I don't see a way that Maru is going to be able to stop this. Three siege tanks? He's going to stem forward now, coming in with the medevacs from the backside as he does get the full surround. He gets the last, no, he does not get that, finally gets the last tank. Wow, okay, I guess that's how you do it then for Maru as the reinforcements come back home and clean this up, and This right. is a crazy game, by the way. Um, we have drops on both sides inbound. What are these two red dots here in the middle of the map? I think those are add-ons. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> or maybe one's the and depot. One's a depot. I think it's yeah. a, the tech lab on the, the factory and a, and a depot, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like a vampire bit the middle of the map or something. <laughs> yeah, it does I wonder what like that, that was. Um, yeah, you're right, though. It's uh, just that plus one attack upgrade here for Cure. I mean, if you don't get armor, it's hard to be competitive in a long game. And I think it's possible. Well, I. Here's going to just be expanding a little bit later here as well. The orbital's are already done. Yeah, Maru in a nice defensive position back at home, and we have seen time and time again Maru leverage this upgrade advantage into highly favorable trades. Yeah, I mean, I think this game just normalizes. Uh, here, um, it, it, as far as math is concerned, is just ahead in every metric, but the upgrades are going to be better long term for Maru, which. You know, with how good these guys are at control, it may matter the most. So the third CC has landed over here. Development is pretty even. Even resources lost is relatively even. Cure just yeah. a little bit more resources gathered in total. Sensor towers come up almost at the exact same time. And Maru looks like he's already pumping out a lot of Vikings. He has five on the field right now already. Excuse me, as um, two more are entering the fray here for Cure. And I, I wonder whether we're going to see a second starport sooner rather than later. Okay, Cure, so instead of adding a second starport, he's going to be going for another factory. So he wants to play a little bit more siege tank heavy with his style. With a game as even as this one is right now, I mean, oh. those are the kind of plays that can really change the dynamic of a game. No, I mean, that, that that's a really scary moment if they, uh... well, he is going to get it. I can't believe he didn't just go straight up to the top. Yeah, I'm surprised. Got every single medevac, in fact. That. So that's like 25 supply going down there for Maru. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge drop uh, in supply. It's not the end of the world, but it, it is pretty bad. Yeah, I think that's more than anything else. That basically kind of forces Maru into position where now he has to play defense. He can't really be roaming around the map as much, at least not for the next couple of minutes unless Kier comes in with some really unfavorable trade, because losing that many units in kind of one fell swoop for really no It wasn't a trade, trade I mean, yeah, he just, he, it just got he like, killed. Yeah, just... He, like canceled a, he like canceled a command center that was a third of the way done, and then all the medevacs died halfway across the map. And now Kier's gonna try and lay Siege down on this position. Viking counts tied nine to nine. Siege King counts 10 to 10. Kier with the lead in Marines, though, doubling the count right now of Maru. So a little bit more flexibility here for his army. And it's actually Cure that's adding in the Ravens first. Liberators being added now for Maru. Sensor Tower gets taken out here by Cure as he's just trying to poke and prod a little bit and get an idea of where Maru's at. And this is now going to be a point of contention here. 
This fifth base here for Maru. Armor shredding turret coming down on the Vikings here. This time in Cure's favor is Maru taking a bad trade. We'll have to lift that command center with this many Vikings and might get taken out. I mean, this is a pretty humiliating defeat here for Maru. I think he almost half-heartedly even tried to set up to fight it. This is exactly the fight that Cure was looking for, and Maru stepped right out and gave it to him. And, you know, what I want to say right now is I, I bet if we if we hit the player colors, if we hit their names, and you came into this game six, having watched the previous two games, you would think that right now Cure is Maru and Maru is Cure. It's been a role reversal in the way that they're navigating their unit compositions. This time it's Cure that's faster with the Liberators. He's faster adding in the Ravens. Maru lagging behind just a bit, and right now it's painful for him. He lost his fifth base because of that. He has to rebuild that command center on the low ground outside the natural. And this soft contain, although it's not covering a lot of ground here for Maru, because Cure just has map control right now, it is very hard for Maru to actually maneuver and take either that base at the top left or the center right. Well, I mean, he's going to try to come over here. I think he's a bit surprised to see that there's uh, a small ambush of infantry units that are just going to gun that all down. And it's kind of a tough infantry force to dislodge here for Maru. He has to slowly creep his way forward with these siege tanks because his marine count is actually just so low and will eventually be able to clean that up. But I would love to see the production tab right now because I, I think that Okay, no battle cruisers in production just yet. We're just continuing to play Sky Toss with Vikings, with Ravens, with a handful of Liberators. I would imagine there's a moment when that's going to be triggered here. Uh, he throws down some auto turrets, I believe, under there. Well, hold on a second. Is Cure actually losing this fight? I think it's quite It's pretty even. even. And then the Liberators are going to come in here. No, I think he's actually... Maru's going to win this fight. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to call. Yeah, it's hard it's for the, unusual... the color schemes and then also the Liberator Siege kind of obscuring the vision there. It's yeah. Difficult, but Maru getting the better end of that trade. Well, he's doing the thing that he did before that won the game for him. He has reached out and grabbed another base. Um, note that Kira has spent all of his savings, um, which is like what he needs to do. But the point is he doesn't have this massive mineral gas cushion. Uh, Maru, of course, has done the same, but Maru is, is, I guess you could say, teched above Cure. And Maru is getting air superiority again. Cure is pumping out Viking six at a time to try and close the distance. And it's the funniest thing. It's like, you know, it looked, it's a game where Cure surrounds him and then nothing happens for a while, and then Maru suddenly comes out and is making big advances on the map. He's going to take another base right away after this. I don't know what's to say that Maru can't come out a little bit further and then push one of Cure's base is out of position. Lines of siege tanks and just fortifying these positions. I mean, it's really wild to watch. Like, Maru even doing a mild bio transition here just to break this position because he knows he has enough Ravens. Yeah. He can he, actually fight through. He's fluctuating between these different techs depending on, on what, what is appropriate to, to, to disarm this given situation. And then he's refilling it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a lot of what we've seen in these endgame Zerg. Uh, yeah, games, where they like go into a certain army, and then they go into Broodlords, and then that forces like you know the, the, the counter to the Broodlords, whether you're against a Zerg or a Terran, and then they counter that. He's kind of doing the Terran version of that only in a mirror matchup. It does feel that way because notice he hasn't really made any Vikings to try and contest the Viking count here for Cure. Instead, he's just been pumping Ravens and he's been pumping Marines, so he's splitting his minerals and his gas that way. And you know if. Cure doesn't have a healthy number of siege tanks on the ground. There really is nothing to zone away the Marines from just stimming forward and taking care of these Vikings, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's a very intricate dance that they're doing with their unit compositions. And I feel like, I mean, Maru is just so good at this in general. It's a little bit of a, I want to say a misclick there, as I don't think the army was intended to go in that direction. But it's so interesting to watch these army compositions just continue to develop and evolve as the game progresses and see exactly what triggers what transition. Yeah, I mean, this has been quite a wild ride. Um, though, I have to say, I think that in the last couple minutes, Mario has, like, bled off quite a lot of his tanks. Well, hold on a second. He's not going to come in here. He's disabled all the tanks. We have like a 180 degree arc of, of tanks up here. 
Yeah, only four siege tanks behind these Vikings, though, and so Mars gonna kite back. And man, this one Thor has been alive for so long, but it's actually doing an excellent job of zoning out all of these Vikings, all of these Ravens here for Cure. There's this one long-range anti-air unit that you just kind of rely on, and that it's more Ravens getting taken down now. And look at these disables coming in, Tasteless. Oh Maru is breaking this position with pure Marines. There's nothing that can fight the Marines on the ground. It's just auto turrets. And all these high-tech units for Cure are getting mopped up. It's like another kind of tech here. It's like just Marine auto turret to force a win there. Now the tanks can move in. Suddenly, wow. Maru is just on top of Cure. Cure seeming to be almost paralyzed to what Maru is, is teching into here. It feels like Cure just doesn't have... And he's got medivacs. He can actually go up into where the infrastructure is if he does this right. That's true. Even more disables coming in on the siege tanks as Mara just continues to send forward. And you see Cure knowing that he needs Marines of his own to start to try and counter this. But instead, it's Mara that just continues to push up. Another orbital command falls. These siege tanks will eventually get cleaned up here by Cure with that siege tank in the natural expansion. But overall a very cost efficient trade for maru i feel like this is viking should have landed a long time ago i think he's like suddenly can remember that he could do that yeah the one concerning thing there for maru is although the first engagement went very well the follow-up was not quite as spectacular a lot of the ravens died the sky talk sky i keep saying sky toss because i'm so used to talking about sky toss this yeah. sky terran here in tvt the sky terran effectively was reset there for maru and cure has a much bigger gas bank and he's now going into battle cruisers and Cure just continuing to mix in battle cruisers. This is one thing that Maru doesn't really have. It feels like it might be Cure's ace in the hole here, as he already has three battle cruisers on the field. With that gas, he's also adding in a ton of Ravens. He's getting all of the elite upgrades here for the BCs, plus three air weapons, vehicle weapons, Yamato cannons all coming in. This is pretty brutal here um, with that battle cruiser. Yeah, Marines are not really the answer, and Maru, he's transitioned very heavily into them. He's got about 50 Marines in total on the field right now. The oh. siege tank count here for Cure, only at nine. The good news for Maru is that he he's he knows how to kind of throw those Marines in there and use them to do damage and try to make something else happen. Solution to killing these things, right? I think we need more Vikings here for Maru, or VCs of his own. He is going to deny this base up here. These bases for Cure that have gone uninterrupted, I mean, Oh, here we he go. He might actually be able to catch these. Yeah, no jumps coming in. Them. Every single gets one gets disabled. Okay. Armor shredding missile coming in. Auto turrets as well. That was the one thing that he had going for him was these battle cruisers. He could even, I think, stack the disables here. Yeah, again. he just did. Yeah. Just add on to the cooldown on the other side of the map. You're able to disable these siege tanks with no Raven support. And oh, oh, the Ravens are a little bit too far behind. This one might be able to teleport away. Actually, oh, both of them wow. getting back That's home. actually pretty big. Yeah, that's a little bit of a slip up there for Maru as yeah. he's been, I mean, he's trying to put out all these other fires, right? It's, it's easy for us as observers to look at this one thing, but really sure. Maru's playing at like 500 APM right now, <laughs> trying to whittle his way through this, but. Now, now Maru has, has been interrupted more on his side of the map, and so he might end up with more minerals in the long term that he can mine from. Uh, Kira's gonna try to move out here. This is the craziest TVT ever. Yeah, this is an insane game. Kill, we're seeing pretty much every single Terran unit here. As a lot more disables are coming in, that's going to give these Marines some breathing room. Armor shredding missile on the Ravens and the missile oh, turrets oh. there as the Marines just power through. And look at Cure's supply just dip down to 153. But behind it, these four Marines, these hero Marines, taking out a lot of SCVs there for Maru. Are able to pick off three as the attack continues. And I don't know exactly what the army is here for Cure but it's only at 93 supplies, so this is a very scary situation now. He could get up into, into oh no, I guess he can't get up into the main. I was gonna say, if the main is vulnerable, he could probably just run right up there and try to take a fight like that. Well, he might just do that anyway. So many more disables coming in on not only the BCs, but also the siege tanks there on the low ground. Is Mara might be able to get on top of the production tasteless, and if he does, I don't know if Kira's gonna have an answer for it. Is history about to be made? Is Maru about to win his sixth GSL? He is in the main. All of the infrastructure is here. This might be it, Tasteless. Maru 167 supply on all of the production. Kira trying to mount a counterattack on Maru's side of the map, but it's not gonna work. It's only four battle cruisers, and we might have Maru being crowned the sixth GSL champion today. This is an insane game. I don't think there's any way that Kier can recover. These four battle cruisers are just not going to do enough damage. Everything that can make anything that would allow 
Cure to recover is being destroyed. Cure is going to try to move across the map and do as much damage as he can, but as we see that happen, the Marines are here to answer this as well. The Battlecruisers disabled are gunned down, and Cure is processing his loss as Morrow is going to be uh, the GSL champion for the sixth time in a row. GG! What a moment here for Maru.